So the way we're going to be handling transitions is we're going to take a state pointer, S, that goes along with each state. So state pointer, state pointer, state pointer, state pointer, state pointer, state pointer. We'll need to pass the state pointers along to the transition. And this transition function is going to go the current state, transition out of, so we're no longer in that state anymore. And then S is going to be equal to, and it depends on what the new state is. So we'll implement all the cases. So if the new state is idle, then S is going to be equal to some new idle state, which we haven't implemented. If the case is jump, and I actually like to write my cases like this, with a little break in front of them. If the case is jump, then S is going to be a new jump state, which we haven't implemented yet. And you notice that since it hasn't been implemented, we have this cyclic dependency. To fix that, we just specify that this function will have a body somewhere else and then define it later after we've implemented all of the states. So we can go void transition and specify that this belongs to the state class. So we can define the body somewhere else. Now we can create our new jump state. And then similarly, we'll have our attack state that doesn't exist and our all state that doesn't exist. And we can quick simply go S transition into now that we've switched to that new state. And this gives us the ability to implement these transition functions that define what happens when we go into and out of the states.